Hi there. Senior year get exactly what you're looking for. You just need to visit our website right now to get the latest information and prices. What are you waiting for? Just give us a visit right now. Have a good day. Hi, I'm Lee and welcome to the demo video of Hijacker, brand new piece of software. Now what's Hijacker? It's basically a piece of software that allows you to hijack any website in the world and monetize it, put your own calls to action, utilize the authority to build your own list and your own social media following. Okay, it's incredibly easy to use. We've got a five point system. We just start with one and we just follow it to the end and it is done. Okay, so it's incredibly easy to use. And realistically, the, the options are pretty enormous here because we haven't just created one option. We've created a plethora of options that can be edited in a very simple way to create all manner of different um, end results okay so basically when you come into the software you click add campaign you get the opportunity to create one of six different types okay so you can create one with an image pop-up with a video pop-up you can have one with a html pop-up which is obviously things like the aweber um, autoresponder code and, and of any HTML code that you can think of you can create one that has social media like buttons we've also got our own built-in opt-in um, builder which is really really cool and we've also got um, uh, an exit pop option right which works slightly differently so just to run through how to use it uh, and just show you a few examples. The first one I'm going to do is the image version. So I've just got that highlighted. Click next. I'm going to click create new. Just going to upload an image quickly. So this is the image. Um, once we've uploaded the image, we just click save. And once we get into the, the next section, which is three, we have the opportunity to decide how we want it to be presented. We have the opportunity to have it so that if anyone clicks on the website, it pops up. We have the option to delay it, so it will just pop up anyway. And we have the uh, exit pop style. So if we just have, if we just enable this one, for example, and actually I'll tell you what we'll do for this one, for the example, the mouse out, all right? So once we've selected that, we click next. The next section is we need to add our website. So we click here, add new website, and we're just gonna say, that what we do is we select the website that we want to have what the website that we actually want to hijack and we stick it in there so this can be any website then here we've got some viewports and we've got you've, you've got to play about because some different websites um, view the material slightly differently so I'm just going to choose one of these click Save click Next generating it all and it's done it's as simple as that so I'm just going to take the sound off and then I'm going to click on preview so it's loading up this page um, the sales page for this actual product and if I go to disappear hold up we get this sort of image and what we have the opportunity is we can add um, all kinds of uh, things we could click a link so this takes it to another site if we want to that's just one example okay so what we're going to do is we're going to just cross that off and I'm going to show you another one quickly 
just with a video. So, so we're going to click on video for this next one. Pretty similar sort of thing. Click on that, click on the main content. Now we need to grab the video link. Which is that. We're gonna paste it in there. And we've got a video like that. I'm gonna click save. I'm going to click next and again this one we have the same sort of options so if anyone clicks on the page uh, the 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 pop-up can turn up delay a mouse out for this example let's click on the um, delay uh, and we're just going to have literally one second again add a new page grab the link that we're going to hijack we're going to choose that we're going to click save and once again it's complete I'm going to click on preview should do a similar sort of thing right there you go so you can see what the the potential is for those two options already next next option that we've got available is obviously the HTML that's just uh, simply adding the auto respond the said Aweber code there's Facebook code there's lots of HTML codes that are out there we've then got a, a social pop-up builder where we can quickly run through this one again And it's going to show what we're doing on the right hand side and we can say um, let's just change the colors that we can change the background there and once again we can then add some content here so let's just add something that we've got here that might be good the post and there you go so what we can do is we can click on the social and here is where we can put in Facebook the links to our Facebook to our Twitter etc etc right, didn't click save right so once that's done again we have the option uh, so that these will pop up when we want them to pop up we've already done them in the last two options let's click on this one so this is going to be so that it will just it will, it will work on click and this is click on save And then all we do is we click on preview. The website loads, we're looking at the website and then if anyone clicks on something, 
they get that. And then we, you can see you've got Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, all that good stuff. Um, and that's that option. So then let's move on with the next option. So the next option is the actual opt-in pop-up um, using our builder. Again, click new. Give it a name. We need to, when you do it, you have the, you have to create a list beforehand, so you can select it here. Um, but for the purposes of this. So just say, for example, we can put a heading like that, do this, check it out. Background. main content again we can create um, we can add an image so just for the purposes of this to show you exactly what it can do we're going to click on that we're going to click on the old box We're going to insert it. We now have the opportunity to put it on the left or in the middle. So it all depends on how you how you like that. Um, we now have the buttons. We can change the buttons slightly smaller, slightly different. So we've got Facebook, we've got Google, we've got the autoresponder. Uh, and down here we can switch them off if we don't want them if we just wanted just say for instance facebook or um, email and we can change the text here from sign up to something else um, and going back we can change the background color from gray if we wanted that to be uh, black as well we could change that to black like that so just say we do that once that's done, we click save, and that basically means that the pop-up is, is saved. We click next, and we have to decide how we want this to be shown, exactly the same as we had before. Let's just say the delay, click next, add a new page. We're gonna call this one that. We're going to click here. We're going to paste our website in there. We're going to choose the correct view. We're going to click save. And then we just click preview again and we see what we've got. There you go. So you've got a nice um, pop up there with the ability to Gain Facebook, Google, and your email list subscribers. So you can start to think of all the options that you could possibly do there. So let's just move across to the last option, which which gives us something a little bit different. And that is to redirect people from other websites in a, a number of different ways. Okay, so using it on this website, we click on external, we click next, we click on create new. We give it a name. So now we need to choose the website that we want to redirect to. Okay, so first of all, we'll just, for example, we'll just click on JVZoo. So we're gonna redirect to JVZoo. We're then gonna click save. 
we're going to click next so once again we get the options to what to um, what we can do now in this instance the first option is on click so any anywhere the person clicks they will be redirected to in this example jvzoo so let's just quickly just show you that so we've got our our website there we're going to put show where it's going we're going to click save we're going to click next and then we're going to click preview so just click that so anywhere I click we now get sent across the JVZoo so you can imagine any sort of website that you have, you can then redirect to different links, which is pretty cool, right? So the other option is the delay pop-up. So what this does is it will automatically redirect to the other website in X amount of time, regardless of what's going on, okay? So you might just want to show someone a website for 10, 15 seconds, and then you might want to send them across to another website. So it's exactly the same. We choose the delay, which is two seconds. Uh, we then do the same thing. We put in the website that we want to hijack. We then click on next. We then click on preview. And it should load and then flick across to the other website okay so obviously you'd want um, a longer redirect depending on what you wanted to show okay so the third the third option you've got is the mouse out pop-up which is really really cool and I'm sure you're gonna see this and you're gonna be thinking of all the different opportunities that you could actually use this okay because this is the mouse out right so we're gonna enable this and we're gonna click next exactly the same so we go to our website so the website's loaded we're looking at it and we're like yeah now this isn't for me to be perfectly honest go out of this and then suddenly whoop it's redirected to another one so you can think of the examples you could have an offer people not interested and you can redirect them to a second offer so you get two bites at the cherry which is really really cool so basically that's the software i've shown you through it i've shown you how easy it is and this video has been what about 15 minutes i've shown you all the five options and i've gone through the different little tweaks that you can do to each one so you can really see that this piece of software can achieve a quite a lot of stuff it's really exciting we're really excited about it we hope you like it and we hope that um, you get on board